Cancer-causing foods, also known as carcinogenic foods, are those that have been linked to an increased risk of developing cancer. These foods contain certain substances or undergo cooking processes that can potentially damage DNA, promote inflammation, or contribute to the growth of cancer cells in the body. Hello there! Welcome back! Today, in this video, we will be uncovering 10 cancer-causing foods that you should eliminate from your diet without hesitation. It's time to arm yourself with valuable information that will help you make healthier choices and safeguard your well-being. By identifying and avoiding these dietary pitfalls, we can take a proactive approach to protect our health and reduce the risk of cancer. So, let's get started. Number one on our list is processed meats. Yes, that includes bacon, sausages, hot dogs, and deli meats. These seemingly tasty treats are often loaded with sodium, preservatives, and harmful chemicals like nitrates, which have been linked to various types of cancer. All these processed meats contain numerous chemicals and preservatives, including sodium nitrates, which make them look appealing and fresh but are well-known carcinogens. Smoking meats seem to be particularly bad as the meat picks up tar from the smoking process. Yes, tar, the same deadly ingredient that cigarette smoke contain. Now, let's talk about our next enemy on the list, conventionally grown produce. Pesticides and herbicides sprayed on these fruits and vegetables have been associated with an increased risk of cancer. Conventional foods are also subjected to an enormous amount of these types of chemicals as well as hormones, to make the fruit and veggies grow bigger. Apples are probably the worst offenders with pesticides showing on more than 98% of all apples tested. Fruits with a 90% positive rate of pesticide residue included oranges, strawberries, and grapes. Washing fruit does not remove 100% of the residue. Pesticides are toxic chemicals to insects as well as human beings. Opt for organic alternatives whenever possible to minimize exposure to these harmful chemicals. Next is canned foods. There's a big debate over whether there's enough BPAs in canned foods to cause cancer, and whether or not they're transferred to the food the cans contain. Each side of the debate can produce studies that prove their case, so it's hard to know which way to lean. One way to sidestep the debate is to simply eat fresh or frozen food or buy food in cans that specifically state that they are BPA-free. Sugar-sweetened beverages come in at number 4. Sodas, energy drinks, and even some fruit juices are loaded with excessive amounts of added sugars. Regular consumption of these beverages has been linked to obesity, diabetes, and an increased risk of several types of cancer, including pancreatic and colorectal cancer. When it comes to cancer-causing foods, one of the biggest culprits is high fructose corn syrup as well as other refined sugars. Many people make the mistake of thinking that brown sugar is better for them. However, brown sugar is just white sugar that has been highly refined and then the molasses that were removed are added back in for color and flavor. It is best to choose a natural alternative. Some better choices of sweeteners include coconut sugar, organic honey, and maple sugar. These natural sweeteners are also a better choice than artificial sweeteners. Next is overcooked and burnt food. Some overcooked or burnt foods, mainly meat forms chemicals called heterocyclic amines or polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. These chemicals are the result of amino acids, sugars, and creatinine reacting at high temperatures. The juices that drip down onto an open flame or heat source create smoke that releases PAHs, which then adhere to the surface of the meat. Meats cooked at temperatures of 300 degrees Fahrenheit or above or those meats cooked for very long periods, form HCAs. Acrylamides form when starchy foods cook until they are dark brown. Some studies link the consumption of these compounds to ovarian and endometrial cancers, though definitive evidence is still lacking. Number 6 on our list is alcohol. When the body metabolizes alcohol, it produces acetaldehyde, a chemical compound that may damage DNA which may lead to cancer. Research has found that the more alcohol you drink, the higher your risk for developing certain kinds of cancer, such as head and neck cancer, esophageal cancer, liver cancer, breast cancer, and colorectal cancer. Although experts recommend abstaining from alcohol to avoid the risk, if you choose to indulge, limit your alcohol consumption to no more than one serving per day if you are a woman, or no more than two servings per day if you are a man. A serving is defined as 12 ounces of beer, 5 ounces of wine or 1.5 ounces of liquor. 
Next up, we have deep fried foods. While they may be irresistibly crispy and delicious, the high temperatures used in frying can produce harmful compounds, such as acrylamide and heterocyclic amines, which are known to be carcinogenic. It's time to rethink those French fries and opt for healthier cooking methods. Acrylamide is a substance that develops during the rapid cooking of starchy foods. This could occur when you are frying, baking, roasting, or toasting. Particularly rich in acrylamide are fried starchy meals. Fries and potato chips are examples of fried potato goods. A 2018 analysis indicated that studies on rats revealed the carcinogenicity of acrylamide. It is possibly carcinogenic to humans, according to the International Agency for Research on Cancer. A 2020 study found that acrylamide destroys DNA and causes cell death, apoptosis. Eating too much fried food increases your risk for type 2 diabetes and obesity. These circumstances could raise your risk of cancer by encouraging oxidative stress and inflammation. Now, let's talk about snack time. Packaged snacks like chips, crackers, and cookies often contain unhealthy trans fats, artificial flavors, and additives. These ingredients have been associated with inflammation and an increased risk of cancer. Choose whole, unprocessed snacks like nuts, seeds, and fruits for a healthier alternative. Microwave Popcorn Those little bags of popcorn are just so convenient and easy to use. They seem so harmless, don't they? They are anything but. Microwave Popcorn Maybe you have heard the warning that your non-stick pots and pans are toxic? Your microwave popcorn is lined with the same toxic non-stick lining. When heated, this chemical has been shown to cause cancer and infertility in lab animals. The popcorn itself doesn't appear to be GMO, but you can't be sure since there are no labeling requirements. However, there are other ingredients that definitely are such as the oil and the emulsifiers. Not to mention that these oils contain huge amounts of trans fats. Last is that, butter flavor. This is made from a chemical called diacetyl, which is so toxic that one brand of popcorn, there is no need to buy microwave popcorn when it is so easy to make your own at home. Refined Carbohydrates and Sugars People who eat a diet high in refined carbohydrates such as white bread, white rice, pasta, soft drinks, and fruit juices are more likely to develop colon cancer than those who consume mostly whole grains and complex carbohydrates such as fresh vegetables and fruits. Studies support the probability that high blood glucose and insulin levels in the body increase inflammation and along with it, the risk of cancer. The glycemic index measures how fast carbohydrates turn into sugar in the blood. A 2016 study linked excess consumption of high glycemic index foods to an 88% greater risk for prostate cancer. Last but certainly not least, we have fried snacks. Walk down any snack aisle in any grocery store and you'll be bombarded by an array of snacks, each one packaged to look absolutely delicious, and each contributing to the formation of cancer. The problem occurs during the frying process, and since these are pre-packaged snacks, consumers often lose sight of the fact that they've been deep-fried, much like french fries. The deep-frying process that browns the snack and makes it crisp is the same process that forms cancer-causing substances that stay with the food. These additives have been associated with an increased risk of cancer and other health issues. Prioritize whole, fresh foods for optimal health. There you have it, folks. 10 Cancer-Causing Foods to Avoid at All Costs By making conscious choices and opting for healthier alternatives, we can reduce our exposure to potential carcinogens and promote overall well-being. Remember, your health is in your hands. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.